Hi, I'm Tucker Dietrich. I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes of what's going on at the Milwaukee Vibrator here. So why don't you just follow me? Here we have a drum set that was used by uh, Jimmy Krupa back in the 1940s. Uh, it's very rare, actually, how they were able to get this. And we use this, and then we trash it at the end of every show, and then build it back up. Uh, it takes at least four hours, so it's very labor-intensive. But we just can't find a better way to do it. Our show is sponsored by Starbucks. They pitched in. They gave us about uh, $40, which was nice. <laughs> um, but we could only use it at Starbucks. It was a gift card, actually. It was kind of a shitty deal we got part of. This is the microphone table. This is where you get mic'd up so people can hear you doing the songs and everything. It's really cool. These are really expensive microphones, and we, uh, we treat them such by putting uh, dollar batteries in them, which is great. This is the blue hallway. This is where, uh, if, before the show starts, you have to walk down this hallway, and then you're able to see if you have any stains on your costume. And if you do, then you gotta get a new costume. We have, to, we have to shred the old one. We have to put it in a dumpster fire. And we can't be running an operation where people are in crappy costumes and have stains all over them. What, this, isn't, this isn't some Stevens Point production here. This is a Wausau production. All right, we take care of ourselves. Stage right. Up here is where the, this is where the Homersons are. Um, and they drink so much up here because they're not on stage as much and they're behind this thing. You can't see them. You, you can just sit up here and drink all day. It's actually the best role in the play. You get to sit up here, you sing like every 20 minutes. You get to get loaded the other 40. This is where I sit the entire time. Everyone had to drink one bottle of booze by themselves before they could be in the play. I took care of about five to cover some other people who aren't of age and are weaklings. Uh, everyone's required also to drink one thing of Minute Maid lemonade during the show, actually while on stage. And then they have to throw it into this basket. If they don't, if they don't get it in the air, they're out. They're done. You can't be in the play anymore. These are the umbrellas. These are these were actually uh, large umbrellas. We got a shrink ray and actually shrunk them for this show. A lot of money. A lot of money. We, we wasted a lot of money on just <laughs> frivolous things. I want to talk about these barrels over here. These barrel chairs. I don't know if you can see with the light. It's kind of terrible. But these are actually barrels. Um, every one of these barrels actually went over Niagara Falls with a person inside of them. And then they commemorate them by turning them into chairs where people can sit so they can feel like they had the Niagara Falls experience as well. Uh, this is spike tape. Um, you use this, you put it over your eyes when you're watching Spike TV. That's what you use that for. This is the, the scene shop. This is where we build everything for the show. Uh, we built this mechanical lift. Doesn't make an appearance. It got cut last second. Here we're actually building our own Harley Davidson. It's really exciting because not many people know how to do that. Only like four people in the world know how to make an actual Harley Davidson. We're going to try to do it. We're going to be the fifth as a group. So we have um, a small CO2 tank. We're going to use that. Uh, we have a comically oversized uh, golf club head. We're going to use that for something. Um, oh, we took out a uh, water fountain uh, pan. We're going to use that in the bike. Uh, we just really went to a junkyard and said, well, what could we make a bike out of? And we said, obviously, we need curvy metal pipes. Got to have them. If we don't, can't make a bike. I built that stool. Uh, accidentally, I came in one day, drank a thing of paint. That was a bad idea. There's so many stories, really. I mean, just so many stories in this scene shop. It's just ridiculous. I could go on for days and days. Now, you know, it's long days in the shop working on this stuff. Uh, you know, we got, you got your basic, you got your quick grips. You know, get a good grip on stuff. We have uh, saws. Hammers, we got some crowbars, gotta have a crowbar. Basically, anything you need to dismember a body is in here. This is the green room. Uh, this is where you hang out when you're not on stage. You can take a red couch, uh, you can take a fainting couch if you want. And that's, that's when, you've, if you've been like doing so many songs and you're just done, you're just like, oh, I've been four straight songs, oh, oh, oh. And it's not very soft. I almost broke my tailbone doing that right there. Gotta have a mint. What happens if you have a kissing scene? Gotta have some mints. If you don't have mints, the person will be like, wow, your breath's terrible. Why would anyone want to kiss you in real life? We always keep three rotting strawberries on the counter. We always have to have them, along with two empty soup cans. Okay, this is the 
This is the women's dressing room. And because there's no ladies in here, we can come in here without any repercussions. This is where all the girls get ready. They put on their clothes, they brush their hair, they'll talk about boys for a little bit before they go on stage. They have to put on like a pound of makeup. It's just ridiculous how much makeup they put on. Um, they have to have shoes. God, they have like 50 pairs of shoes in here because they're ladies. That's all they do. Talk about shoes, boys, and brushing their hair. I don't get it either. I'll tell you something about the guys dressing room. It's, it's quite amazing because it actually looks exactly the same. There's no difference. It's the same thing. We have a bathroom too. It's got good acoustics. Uh, you can really belt out some tunes in here. I'm not going to. I gotta save the pipes for something. But we have a shower. You know, you just, you just flip that. Look at that. You know, after a long show, you know, just, just, well, you know how a shower works. <laughs> oh, see? It was just going the wrong way, you know? You know, people pay a lot of money to have two shower heads. And we just get them for free because this is school. It's crazy. And this is a cabinet that's locked, but that's because we're hiding a lot of severed heads in there. To heaven. Okay, so we have a band, and they have to they have to be downstairs because they smell terrible. They they just ugh, they're terrible smelling people. We always put them in a tornado shelter area because they're our most valuable resource. We dressed this up for a character. It was going to be Mr. Out of the Wall but we couldn't find a way to properly get it out of the wall and put it up in the actual stage. Oh, the orchestra pit's locked. But let, I'll just tell you about what happens down here. So they, they go down there and they smoke so much opium before the show. Just tons of opium. Like I mentioned before, this is where the band, they warm up, they smoke a lot of opium before the show. <laughs> And, and other things. How much opium do you guys smoke before the show? Yeah, uh, just a sugar box, that's all. That's <laughs> a little, little that, yeah. And then they're like, all right, let's jam out. They tune their guitars, they tune their bass, they tune their drum. I don't know how you tune a drum. They do it. Hey, crap. Well, Got it. I can tune up much better if I plug in the guitar. Really? And then they just sit down there and they, they don't come out. They, they come out, you, you actually, if you watch the play, there's some guys that come up on stage to play the band. That's not the actual band. That, that, the band that's actually playing, that's playing down below, way uglier. That's why we had to get two bands. We had to get a good looking band, we had to get an ugly band. So we had Dave, and your drummer. And there's, and let's forget. Dan? Tom. Okay, Tom. Dan? D. Dean. I like to call them DDT, but they want to be called the pit bulls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we have something for that. Yeah. <laughs> or a Harley vernacular. So just in case you get smelly, you have a small vial of cologne <laughs> to throw around. Setting up though, was most the mostly. Yeah, most, setting up was fun. Most of the yeah. time. <laughs> Got your ears on? No, I don't have my ears on. Uh, you gotta put ears in. They don't have their own real ears. They have to use uh, prosthetic ears okay, to on. listen. <laughs> music director gives us treats every day. Oh, that's oh. awesome. I wish I had a musical director give me treats. <laughs> you get rationed 12 grapes and one rice crispy. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you're gonna get! <laughs> Yeah. Good thing they have a sprinkler system there that you guys have your opium sets on fire or something. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's the coolest dog because we're so hot. T. Yeah. T. T. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure your instruments are in tune. Don't forget the cowbell. We left that out. And that, you know. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Starbucks. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. This is where you start. This is where, you, this is where they get their tickets, which are made 100% recycled rainforest paper. Which is great, great for the environment. Every day, we're gonna give away this tree. Uh, they have to rotate it, the, s the seven winners, they have to rotate it. Um, and then one lucky person's gonna win two trees. They're gonna win those two. Uh, and then the grand prize winner gets that TV. Uh, with the shelving, actually. They get the shelving as well. This is the control room. This is like the mastermind of the show, all in here. They have a combined IQ of 4,071. They have so many buttons. There's actually a button that calls a sniper. So when somebody says the wrong line, they hit that button, sniper takes them out, get a new person for the next show. There's only like one lighting button. That's it. Uh, two for sound, uh, four for microphones, and five to dispense foam across the audience. Look at this. We got 
so much space to sit. What the fun part is too, every time, every seat underneath, and we don't have them now, we'll have them for the show, underneath each seat is a little note that says, thank you for coming to the show. So many great things about this theater. Great acoustics, uh, speakers built by hand. I believe uh, it took four years to make each speaker because they're made in Indonesia uh, by people with really small hands who aren't afraid of electricity. And then this is where we practice music and piano. So and you get one-on-one -on -one time with Anne, and the rule is Anne has this rule. When you're working on songs, you have to lay on your stomach and do it. And Anne, and this is Anne's secret. I hate to give it away, but you sing better when you're on your stomach. That's a fact. Because, because the, the floor presses against your diaphragm and it makes you work harder, then when you're standing up, oh, this is easy. Just singing. Just singing songs. It's not hard at all to do. Yep. Yep. And you can also get that by putting on one of those, uh, uh, what is it, a girdle thing? Corset. A corset? Yeah, thank you, Ann. You put a corset, and that gets your diaphragm up in this area. And then when you release it, you're like, oh, singing is so easy. Oh, it's way easier than doing your own taxes. <laughs> this is the stand-in for uh, Char. So if, she, if for some reason she can't do her performance, we're just going to wheel this lady out. <laughs> No arms, no legs, and we'll have uh, a hat on her because she's bald. And Shar has great hair, as you can see. She's got great hair. And we got to cover up this bald spot here. It's just small. So just in case, Shar can't perform her duties. This is the understudy. This guy right here, this is Larry Zonka when he was 20, uh, when he was in his businessman phase before he went to the NFL. Uh, he, you know, he had a little out there hair. But this is the star of our show. He, uh, this is the most popular part of the show, actually. This is this picture alone. This is what people are paying their admission for, is this picture. They, they heard in the paper, hey, there's a picture in this show. And you're going to want to check it out, because it's pretty sweet. This is where we're going to make our bread here. <laughs> this one picture. We're putting a lot on this picture. It better go good. <laughs> and you have to rub his forehead before every show. That's good luck. Rub his forehead. And then, and then it's greasy. We put real grease on there because everyone's forehead's greasy. So you got to put real grease there, put that there, and then now we have good luck for the rest of the show. That's all. That's the behind the scenes. I'm glad you took this tour with me. It's going to be a fun show. We got Gene Krupa's drums. I said Jimmy, but it's Gene Krupa. Jimmy's his brother. He had drums too, but we took Gene's. Uh, we got the microphones. We got pulleys. We got lights. We got cameras. We got action. We got the Milwaukee vibrator. Stop on by. It's going to be a show. <laughs>